Welcome to the introduction of the standard ISO 19443, which covers the quality management system for organizations in the supply chain of the nuclear energy sector. In this video, we'll learn about key concepts of nuclear safety culture as implemented by ISO 19443 and what it means to your organization as a supplier to Dextra. We'll have a brief overview of ISO 19443 before looking at its objectives, what a nuclear safety culture is as defined by the standard, important to nuclear safety items and activities, the graded approach or how to apply levels of assurance based on risk, cascading or how the information, understanding, knowledge and culture of the standard should flow down the whole supply chain. And finally, developing quality and nuclear safety awareness. ISO 19443 is a nuclear specific quality management system standard designed to enhance both safety and quality through the entire supply chain. Dextra is one of the many organizations in the supply chain of the nuclear energy sector. It is part of our core business. As one of our strategic partners and suppliers, you are also part of this supply chain. ISO 19443 standard builds upon the foundations of ISO 9001 with the additional focus on the following items. Quality management program, safety culture, graded approach, cascading, competency management, design control, project management, independence of verification, procurement control, and finally, supplier assessment. What are the objectives then of the standard. The first objective is to enhance the quality awareness of all suppliers, reinforce the safety culture and provide guidance on their implementation. The second objective is to standardize the quality requirements, strengthen the integration of best practice of nuclear with other industries, and encourage all organizations in the nuclear industry to work in the same direction with their suppliers. Finally, the third is to create a shared platform for suppliers that capitalizes on their know-how and competence to promote nuclear safety culture through the nuclear supply chain. As you can see, the focus of ISO 19443 is on nuclear safety culture for the supply chain. By the implementation of the standard, not only do you improve your quality management system, reliability and operational excellence, also reduce your costs by decreasing the risk of low quality products or services, gain international recognition through this international standard, and finally, it's a great opportunity for you as our supplier to gain a foothold in the profitable nuclear energy business with Dextra for many years to come. We've already mentioned the term nuclear safety in this video. So let's take a look at what nuclear safety actually means. According to the International Atomic Energy Agency, nuclear safety is the achievement of proper operational conditions, prevention of accidents, and mitigation of accident consequences resulting in protection of workers, the public, and the environment from undue radiation risks. Now, that sounds complicated, so let's break it down further. So-called three C's of nuclear power generation, control, cooling, and containment. The three C's represent the fundamental safety process to prevent radiation risks. The first fundamental safety C stands for control. Control of reactivity is to be able to stop a nuclear chain reaction in any condition. The second C is cooling. It should be possible at any time 
or condition to cool down and remove heat from the reactor. And the third is containment, which is a physical barrier to ensure that radiation from inside the reactor cannot be released into the environment at any activity stage, whether it is design, construction, operation, decommissioning of the nuclear power plant. Dextra, as manufacturers of construction materials, is primarily involved with the third C of containment. Products or services supplied by your organization are eventually transformed towards the purpose of building containment structures in a nuclear power plant. The complete mastery of the three fundamental C's, control, cooling, containment, constitutes the basic functions to ensure nuclear safety. Now that was nuclear safety. On top of that, ISO 19443 introduces the concept of nuclear safety culture. Let's examine more closely what that means. The three main factors to consider for nuclear safety culture are technology, organization, and human. The mastery of all three factors is what empowers nuclear safety culture. That is, to be able to manage risks and avoid negative outcomes. Unsurprisingly, the most fallible factor between these three is the human factor. And there can be numerous influences on human behavior, which can potentially lead to organizations, safety culture gaps, such as national culture, organizational environment, business environment, work and technology, organizational history, regulatory environment, political environment, and worker characteristics. ISO 19443 puts a heavy emphasis on nuclear safety. It's important to always keep in mind that no matter what happens, nuclear safety overrides all other priorities. Termination of Important to Nuclear Safety Items and Activities, or ITNS. There's a lot that goes on in a nuclear power plant. However, DECTRA's involvement in the three C's of nuclear power generation is focused on containment structures. These are structures that prevent radiation from being released, which could lead to the harm of people or the environment. Essentially, what this means is that it is of paramount importance to ensure the integrity of the structure and its construction by making sure that there are no flaws anywhere that may lead to accidents. Containment structures are typically made of reinforced concrete. That is concrete reinforced with steel reinforcing bars or rebars. To build these massive structures, thousands or even millions of rebars have to be connected together to form the reinforcement. Dextra manufactures rebar couplers, which connect rebars together. Couplers are used to splice or connect two rebars together, like this. To ensure the integrity of the reinforcement of the confinement structure, couplers must meet standards specified by the nuclear power plant. Should they fail to meet the performance requirements, it means that people and the environment are now at risk of exposure to radiation, as there is a greater risk of containment structure failure. By extension, this means that should products or services provided by you as a supplier fail to meet dexterous specification, it also puts people and the environment at risk of exposure to radiation as well. Couplers are therefore important to nuclear safety items, or ITNS items for short, because they are a risk to nuclear safety should they fail to meet all the necessary performance requirements. Similarly, activities that contribute to the manufacture of couplers are also important to nuclear safety, because they are a risk to nuclear safety should they fail to meet the requirements. As rebar couplers and their accompanying machines, which process or fix the couplers to the rebar, are ITNS items, 
products or services provided by Dextra suppliers to manufacture couplers and the machines are also ITNS items and activities. As these could be a risk to nuclear safety when these items or activities do not meet the specified requirements. The graded approach. The concept of the graded approach is to apply a level of assurance based on the level of risk. The greater the risk, the more actions and processes need to be scrutinised. For each important to nuclear safety activity or item, the requirements of the product, the complexity of each item and activity, and organisational aspects should all be considered to ensure that the product meets all necessary qualifications such as quality management, documentation, monitoring and measurement. Cascading important to nuclear safety suppliers. Imagine you're visiting a waterfall. The water from the source at the top of the falls flows down to every level below it. ISO 19443 standard is like this water source, flows downstream to every level of the supply chain. ISO 19443 flows down to the nuclear power plant licenses first, then it flows down to the steel fixers, constructing the containment buildings at the nuclear power plant. As the steel fixers are supplied by cut and bend fabricators who prepare the splices, the standard cascades down to them. The cut and bend fabricators are supplied by Dextra, with rebar couplers and machines to attach the couplers to the rebar and Dextra in turn supplied by steel makers, heat treaters and manufacturers of machine components. As you can see, your organisation is also a key contributor to nuclear safety in the supply chain. But that's not all. As our suppliers, you also cascade the requirements of ISO 19443 to your suppliers and sub-suppliers as well. At this point, we have learned about the concept of nuclear safety but how can we develop both quality and nuclear safety awareness in our organisations? Developing quality and nuclear safety awareness. ISO 19443 states that persons involved in the realisation of ITNS products or services shall be trained on the importance of their tasks including the potential nuclear safety consequences of errors in their activities. So how does one know the importance of their tasks? Let's imagine what would happen if the steel, machine parts or services supplied to Dextra not meet the specified requirements. That would mean that the rebar couplers do not develop their full performance requirements. Where the couplers are used to construct the containment building, then the containment structure will not meet the nuclear power plant specification. As a consequence, it now becomes possible for radiation to leak from the containment structure. And if this happens, workers, civilians and the environment will face the fatal consequences that might take hundreds of years for the damaged area to recover from. Next up, transparency and how to deal with non-conformities. From time to time in your everyday job, you'll find non-conformities that could potentially have consequences in the future. Whether it's properties of material, the appearance of parts, or loss of traceability. When defects are detected, all parties need to be transparent about it, addressing the potential problems objectively and communicating between the supplier and the purchasers. Non-conformities do not only include defects, but also include counterfeit, fraudulent or suspect items. Counterfeit items are products, services or documentation that are intentionally manufactured or altered to imitate the original in order to pass themselves off as genuine. Examples of counterfeit items can be falsified meal certificates with different properties than the actual product or falsified product labels. 
fraudulent items are intentionally misrepresented with intent to deceive. For example, multiple heats of steels identified as the same heat using the same set of documents are considered fraudulent items. Suspect items are instances where there is an indication or suspicion that the item may not be genuine, such as when the traceability of the product has not been maintained across all activities. How to prevent CFS items? All suppliers in the nuclear energy supply chain have a responsibility to prevent counterfeit, fraudulent or suspect items at any stage by choosing suppliers that meet the organization's standards, by precisely specifying the requirements and communicating clearly to their suppliers, and by monitoring and controlling the quality of the suppliers' products and services. We must all adopt a questioning attitude. A questioning attitude is the ability to actively seek and identify something unusual. These habits help an organisation to detect problems and prevent their negative consequences in time. So, to summarise, we've learned in this video how essential being aware of the concepts of nuclear safety, promoting nuclear safety culture, understanding the importance and consequences of one's role, being transparent to customers and encouraging questioning attitude amongst staff in your company. For an organisation to strive towards excellence in quality and in nuclear safety. Thank you for your attention. We look forward to our collaboration and to taking the nuclear safety requirements of ISO 19443 to the next level together.